The Omni 69 antenna in my hands here is a high-end product for machine-to-machine -machine omnidirectional comms and all cellular bands. Um, this certainly is most probably still at the moment one of the most unique antennas in the sense that it's fully omnidirectional and operates at all of the cellular bands. And a very difficult feat to achieve technically and that's why you find very few of them around. If you look at this antenna, um, uh, all of the antennas come with nice instructions on how to put it together. This is the main element of the antenna. This ultimately goes and sits on this bracket here, which could be mounted on a pole um, in an upright position. What does an omnidirectional antenna do? Omnidirectional antenna with high gain means that you've got more than one element inside here, and we've got a, a whole arrangement of elements to cover all of the frequency bands, and it gives you a narrow and highly directive pattern, which is in other words squeezed in this plane, and goes in all directions. Now, in cellular bands, this becomes much more difficult. For a single frequency, normally reasonably easy to do. But in this case, we need to do this at the 800 megahertz band. We need to do it at 1700. We need to do it at UMTS. And this antenna covers all of these bands with roughly a gain of about 5 dBi. Once again, we're the only company, most probably in the world, that will actually give you a plot of the gain versus frequency. You can see exactly how it behaves across each of these bands and to make sure that it will meet all of the applications. We've made sure that we cover all of the bands, but I think it reassures users, and I always tell them, please find that for another antenna that claims to do the same, because we do not know of any other antenna that would cover all of these bands um, with this type of gain anywhere else in the world. So it is the high-end product, useful machine-to-machine. -machine. Why machine-to-machine? -machine? It's because where you put a machine down, you often do not want to point a highly directional antenna at a base station, because you get redundancy uh, with the omnidirectionality. In other words, you can pick up one base station that's over here and another base station that's over there with equal ease. If one of them goes down, you can still communicate to the other one. That's the one advantage of an omnidirectional antenna compared to a directional. The second uh, advantage is that the guy that installs it does not have to think too much. In other words, he does not have to have a meter and try to align and find the closest base station. Put this guy up. Um, the fact that it's outdoor already often give you about 10 dB of signal strength compared to indoors. Of course, then it's got some gain, and typically you would link it with, say, a 10 meter or 5 meter cable to a piece of equipment, which could be a credit card machine, an ATM, or any other device inside uh, a building. It could also be a modem uh, or a router that gives you 3G access. So the best possible antenna if you do want to use an omnidirectional antenna for any cellular data communication.